Right. I just finished reading World War Hulk 2. These, these four issues here. World War Hulk 2. Yeah? And I'm angry. I'm angry because Greg Pak, the writer of this god-awful new Incredible Hulk series, and a few years ago he wrote a storyline called World War Hulk, yeah? And he's just stolen the idea from his, from his previous storyline, and he's retelling the story with Amadeus Cho. When he did that with World War Hulk, it was all right. It wasn't great. The original part of Planet Hulk storyline was was like 14 issues and the Amadeus Cho storyline when he went back to Planet Hulk was five. Um, the original World War Hulk storyline was a big, big, like multiple book spanning event. There's almost four issues. So you can tell that he kind of doesn't really care about Amadeus Cho. And it's kind of the beginning and end that really, really does it for me. But yeah, over this whole legacy storyline, he's done, what, nine issues now? And there's just been retelling two separate story arcs that he's already done before. And... In this issue, there's a fight with Thor that goes down the exact same way as the fight in the fourth... Uh, in an issue in the previous arc. Do you understand? Uh, do you get what I mean? He's just doing the same thing again. Over and over again. He's just, like, retreading old ground. Hey, hey, can we, can we copy strike Greg Pak? Can we copy strike Greg Pak, please? Do it, do it now. Do it now. No, I don't, no, I don't have any connections to Greg Pak. I don't know who his lawyers are. I just want his money. Okay, can we, can we copy strike Greg Pak, please? I guess not. Anyway retreading old ground and he's not even doing it in a fun and interesting way this is how it starts off right this i mean the only the only good thing about this is that it kind of it kind of looks good it looks okay ish um it's definitely better than greg land's art because you know this guy's not because the guy in this isn't tracing over porn um Carlo Barbary. Yeah, Carlo Barbary. It's not tracing over porn, so that's a good thing. Um, but look at the Hulk there. Look at his head and look at the rest of his body. He is so swollen that. Like, he's a fucking balloon. <laughs> you yeah, know, he looks like a fucking balloon in most of the panels. Let, let, let's just go through a, co a cover gallery of, of the covers for this storyline as well. That looks okay. A little too many shadows, but it's Mike Diodato Jr. What are you going to expect? His, his art's been going downhill ever since he learnt shadows. Look at that. That is hilarious. <laughs> like, you remember the, uh, those those things from, like, I, from like X Files, X Files, where the tongue came out and like there was a mouth on the tongue, or the, or the thing from Monsters Inc., where where the guy was just eating the food with his tongue, because the tongue had like a separate mouth and eyeballs on it anyway. That's what that reminds me of. <laughs> the fucking thing from Monsters Inc. Like, uh, and it's just, oh my god, this is a lazy cover because that. That uh, that image of Thor, that's just copied and pasted off of one of the uh, off of a previous issue, and because it's Greg Land, most of it's probably traced from porn. So she was probably grabbing something. So Captain Marvel was probably grabbing something else originally, and 
we know why Miss Marvel's squinting. Uh, I guess this is the only okay issue cover, but it's it's just a bland pose of the Hulk with like you know bits and pieces of the rest of the people that he's fighting. And who's he fighting? Who uh, who is the Who's going to go up against the Hulk in this World War Hulk 2 storyline? Yeah, who's going to go up against him? You know, is it is it going to be the Hulkbuster again? No, the pan the Panther Hulkbuster suit, the Black Panther's yeah, the Black Panther's got his own Hulkbuster suit now. Let's just show, uh, let me just show you this because it's absolutely ridiculous looking. I don't understand like that's all we get to see it for. That's it. We don't even get a detailed look at the Panther Buster suit. Is the Hulk Buster in this? Because that's the one thing that I want to I want to see Amadeus Cho going up against the Hulk Buster because they get him going up against. They have him doing everything that Banner did better. But yeah. Um. If anyone's read the original World War Hulk storyline, this is the setup to the original World War Hulk storyline, the one with Banner. So we have Planet Hulk. Hulk gets sent to a distant planet called Sakaar by the Illuminati, who are basically the most, the smartest characters in the Marvel Universe. Your Reed Richards, your Professor X, your Tony Stark, yada yada yada. Um, they have them send him to Sakaar and they keep, uh, they put a bomb in the plane, but they aim to put, uh, take him to a peaceful planet. But instead, the instead the ship goes to a planet filled with war and violence, and basically they just and chaos ensues. He goes into a gladiatorial arena. He takes over the planet. He dethrones the Red King. He, and then Hulk becomes king. Um, he marries one of the people there, and then the bomb goes off, killing his killing his wife, whilst she has like an unborn baby. And we're seen that it's implied that his unborn baby died, and then a few storylines later, he was actually he actually became a new character. He didn't die. He's actually the son of Hulk called Scar. He is a stupid character. Um, and then we have, so we have Hulk goes back to, originally goes back to Noah Tillen and he's pissed. He's really pissed. So we have Black Bolt who's a character who can like, whose voice is sonic so even when he whispers it can kill a man. But basically he whispers at the Hulk to try and get him to, to you know, calm down. And the Hulk's like, I didn't come here to hear you whisper. I came here to hear you scream. And how does this start? How does this start? Um, so Hulk and Thor go back to Earth after just being the Red King on the in Planet Hulk after the events of the Return to Planet Hulk. Um, and so Hulk just goes back to Earth and everything seems fine. He, he then explains to his sister that look I've decided I went on a spiritual journey in another planet and I've decided that the best thing to do is to merge the Hulk and Amadeus Cho together and to become the smartest strongest being on the on the planet um so but all, all while this is happening, Amadeus Cho, because the whole like metaphor for the Hulk is, in Amadeus Cho's mind is a car, and the Hulk has like locked up Amadeus Cho in the boot, so the Hulk is fully in control of everything. But he's like really smart and calculating, and like <sighs> so. This old villain, like from a couple arcs ago, before I started reading comes back and he fights Hulk and Hulk beats him near to death 
and he basically announces on the news, you've seen what I can do to him. If anyone wants to fight me, that's what's going to happen to them. So who are the superheroes that, that try and stop him? You got you got Black Panther. Of course, Black Panther's going to be in it. There's a new movie with Black Panther. It's just come out, you know, a few months ago. But it just come out. You know, he's popular, so why not put Black Panther in there? Captain Marvel, she's getting a movie soon. Uh, her popularity is going to hype up, so put her in there. You know, get 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 people introduced and in put put her in everything before a movie comes out. So, you know, to, to sell tickets because, you know, Marvel really needs to do a lot of stuff to sell tickets because, you know, Infinity War definitely wasn't the highest grossing movie of all times. And I look really pale in that lighting. That, that's slightly better. Um, you got Miss Marvel, Kamala Khan. I don't know why. Apparently she's an okay character. Apparently her book's been good. I don't know. I've uh, got no interest. And then Miles Morales, Spider-Man. Not even the proper Spider-Man. Miles Morales, Spider-Man. Um, who fought him in the original? We had Robert Reynolds, the Sentry, who is Marvel's answer to Superman. Um, we had all of the X-Men, all of the Avengers. We had Colossus as Juggernaut fought him. And... We had the Hulkbuster. The Hulkbuster was specifically made for that story arc. And how does the story arc end? How does this story arc end? Um, Amadeus Cho manages to beat Hulk in his mind and merges himself with the Hulk. I don't know what the hell's going on here. I'm guessing he's merging himself with the Hulk. The Sentry book looks good. But I, uh, he's merging with the Hulk. And then they merge together to make either Skinny Hulk or Swole Green Amadeus Cho. <laughs> I don't know which, take your pick. But yeah, for some reason they've made him even more tween-like. And they put, they put the Hulk in a suit. They put the Hulk in a suit. And he's, he's been fined... 10.5 billion US dollars, which is a lot, granted, but it does seem like, for all this damage, for saying that he's going to kill everyone, and for starting like a war with the superheroes, and basically de facto saying that he is going to be taking over the Avengers, the Champions, and the X-Men, he just gets a slap on the wrist and a fine. And then all the people that he's tried to kill over the last story arc, invite him to go eat shawarma and that's the end. Can I just say, Greg Pack, you had a good run, but you, oh how the mighty have fallen. Uh, Greg Pack used to be the guy, he used to be the one. The one that you'd get to write Hulk. And now he's kind of, you know, not, you know, he's just kind of there. He's kind of, you know, the thing is, I wouldn't be that upset that this was bad. If what it was following up, like, well, what it was literally named after, the World War Hulk, if the, first, the original World War Hulk wasn't so good and had so much badass moments for the Hulk. That's what this should have been. It should have been Hulk ripping everyone a new one. It should have been him fighting so many different, more powerful characters. You should have had Hyperion show up and have a fight against Hyperion. You should have seen Hulk do crazy things, but you don't. It's just kind of more of an internal struggle. And it's not really a World War Hulk. It's kind of Hulk minus scuffle in New York. And it's just kind of... It's extremely disappointing. And it's extremely average. And I really expect more. 
I really do expect more, especially when it's carrying the banner World War Hulk 2. Can we can we stop redoing storylines and rehashing storylines, please? You did the you did it with Civil War, you did it with Planet Hulk, you did it with uh, with World War Hulk. Please please don't have a Spider-Man one more one more day two or uh, Spider-Man the death of Gwen Stacy again. Please, please don't. Uh, uh, it's it's getting it's getting redundant, and it's really annoying for comic book readers. So just come up with original storylines, or if you're gonna rehash a storyline, rehash it well, and rehash it with a different writer than the one that was doing it before. And you know, live up to the name of the story arc. Yeah, because what, what more do I have to say? I, I've expressed that I'm I'm really annoyed by, by this, and that's kind of it. That's kind of all I have to say. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be back with a with a more light-hearted video, a more light-hearted video. Um, I'm talking about Deadpool two. I'm going off to see that tomorrow. But yeah. Hype train is real. And the hype train is alive. I am so hyped for that mo that movie. Not quite as hype as I was for for um Infinity War. And I I don't know if I'm <laughs> I, I I'm I'm hyped for Venom as well. As much as I'm not supposed to be because it, it it doesn't look great. But I mean Tom Hardy is a brilliant actor, so I know he's going to be great in it. And the the CG, as much as I hate saying this about movies, the CG actually looks really good. So yeah, I I really have my fingers crossed for Venom, and I hope it's a, uh, it's a really good film. I hope it's a fun film. I hope it's fun. But yeah, hated this. Hated this with a passion. Um, yeah, and I just hope the new Hulk run by Al Ewing is so much better. Because the Black Panther, the two new number ones, the beginning of this fresh start, is looking really good. The Black Panther was okay. It wasn't bad. It wasn't up there. But the Venom by Donny Cates was, oh my god. It was so good. It was, like, so good. Like, it's not just Venom fighting Spider-Man villains again. It's... Venom fighting his own villains, and he's fighting the god of the symbiotes. Oh, I'm so hyped to see where they go with that. But yeah, um, really hated this. If you like the content on this channel, hit that like button, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell to make sure you keep my lovely ugly mug in your in your subscription feed. And, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. If I can find the...